In June 1996, 18-year-old Angie Dodge was found stabbed to death in her apartment. After launching a homicide investigation, Idaho Falls detectives discovered that Angie had been assaulted before her death. Investigators worked the case, but couldn't get a break until in 1997, Ben Hobbs was charged with sexual assault in Nevada. Idaho Falls police questioned him and his friends, attempting to connect him to Angie's murder. One of the friends who was interviewed was Chris Tapp. After a series of interviews, Tapp was arrested as an accessory to a felony. He made a deal to testify against Hobbs and another friend in exchange for being allowed to plead guilty to aiding and abetting an aggravated battery. When DNA came back for Hobbs and the other friend, Jeremy Sargis, it showed they weren't responsible for the murder. Tap is brought in for a polygraph, and after, police question him again. Um, it comes to my head, I might be wrong, I might be right. I don't know for sure. Okay. But I'll, I, I don't think I do now is try to piece it all together in my head, I guess. What I get, what, what comes out of my head is a river. Okay. I don't know why, but that's what comes in my head. More about some river. River's a big place. <laughs> Slide your chair over a little bit. Will you? Uh, you yeah, just scoot up just a little bit. Can you show my hand? Okay. Yeah, the river's a big place. I know. Again, what we're trying to deal with here, Chris, is Chris's credibility. Right, I know that's okay. And I'm trying to help my credibility as much as I can. I know you are. I know you are. But uh, do the best you can to wade through it all. I mean, but uh, as I mentioned yesterday, this is for keeps here. Okay. And uh, I can't stress the importance of these two pieces I, of the I, puzzle. You mentioned uh, you know, you had a rough time there last night in you know, jail. I yeah. mean, if you want to help yourself. <laughs> uh, I'm just, I'm trying, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to do, Jerry. So I really, I, All right. Well, I'm just... So... So we can work through everything. No matter what you tell us. You know, as far as uh, if it even incriminates yourself even more, mm -hmm. we can work through all that that stuff. Right? Yeah, I mean, okay. it's not even the idea of incriminating myself more, it's just... All right. Now, with the knife, are we sure that, uh, you remember the story you gave us that the knife was from Jer? Yeah. Is that still valid? In my head, yes, it is. Okay. And why do you feel that way? Because that's what my heart, my head tells me. I mean. So did him and Jerry ever, uh, Jer get in a fight then? Was it, was that valid, you know, when Jer found out about the knife missing? Did they get into it? Yeah. I mean. In my head, that's what it says, yes. Well, but did you witness that? Were you there when they got into it? I got, I saw part of it, yes. Okay. And what did you see? Just him, them fighting about some knife. Okay. When? A few days later. And Where? Either on Maple or in the car. Okay. Either Maple or in the car. And what was Jer saying? He, he could why Ben take his knife? I mean, okay, and what did Ben say? Yeah, he wanted to borrow it. He needed to use it for something. Did it ever come out about the homicide? No. It never came out? So everything you told us about Jared was bogus? I don't know. I mean, I, well, I'm, I'm just trying to trying to get everything at okay. one time and then I get 800 more questions.
Sure. Because right now my main concern is trying to figure out the knife thing. Okay. I mean, that's where my thoughts are going right now. Okay. Over. Remember when we had that picture of the, the river before? Mm -hmm. By the boat docks? Yep. That's what keeps coming in my head. Okay. Whereabouts? Do I need to get that picture? Will that help? It's about the same areas I showed you before. And as I recall, you showed us before uh, you thought uh, it was thrown off John Holes. Is that correct? Yes, sir. And what was thrown off? I mean, was the knife there? Was any of the clothes there? The knife is what I, what I feel is a knife. Okay. Was the knife wrapped in anything? Was it weighted down with anything? A rock? Mm -hmm. That's what pictures in my head. I'm just right now I'm going with anything that comes off the top of my head. I mean, it's all I can do right now. You betcha. It's just whatever pops in my head, is, you know. Okay, that's good. That's a start. How you doing? Not too bad. Uh, Steve's ready. We're ready. Okay. So let's do that real quick. Okay. Do what? You look like you had about as much sleep as I had last night, guy. Yeah. You no, know, good night. Um, what am I doing now? Go take a polygraph. Okay. 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 Go right there. All right. You better remember me. I met what you. What did we meet? I met you when I was seven, 16 or 17 years old. What did I do? You was doing that. Uh, you was detective of burglary at that time. Were you victim, suspect? Or? Suspects. I got you. I, I copped to three burglaries I was associated with at that time. You kind of look like I feel right now. But you're doing a good thing here. Um... So let's go through some stuff real quick, okay? So we have everything down together without any breaks all the way through it. Does that sound okay with you? Okay. Okay. You, who were you with the River with that night? <laughs> Everybody. But any, okay. Who did you leave with? I left with Ben. Okay. And who else? A guy named Mike. Okay. Mike. Yeah. yeah. That's the only name that. Is that the first time you'd ever met him? Unfortunately, yes. Where'd you guys go after you left the River? Oh my God. Okay. And I could care less about Bill. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. Where'd you go get where'd you go get high at? In Ben's car. We went and found just I think I'm not gonna think anymore. Okay. Just driving around getting yeah, high. Yeah, just driving around, going out getting high. Something stupid. Whose whose idea was it to first go over to Angie's? Ben's. Okay. Did he tell you, Chris, why he wanted to go over to Angie's? He said he wanted to go talk to out, try to work things out between him and her. And now I talked to, I've talked to Ben. I don't know if you knew that or not. Yeah, I've heard you. Everyone's been talking off and on. Yeah, I went down and visited Ben. He, it's my understanding from talking to him, he broke up with Deanne. Is that right? Or Deanne broke up with him? Deanne broke up with him. And why is that? Because supposedly people were saying that Ben was sleeping around on her. I mean, sleeping, yeah, on her. On her. Yeah. Did Aunt, and did, why did he want to talk to Andy then? Because Angie and Deanna were best friends. They were, really, they were really close. And what I understood from the whole entire thing, because I left at that mm -hmm. time period before all this, I didn't hook up back up with anybody from the river crowd, I guess, until you know, from March. March or April. Because I was off dealing drugs somewhere else. 
Okay, so he wanted to go talk to Angie about what? The, what the what the hell Angie Angie's been saying to Deanne? Deanne. Right. Why the hell she? I guess she said some shit to Deanne like he was sleeping around on her, shit like that. Okay. Well, about what time did you guys arrive there? It was dark. Dark. Yeah, it's the river closed at ten. Yeah, they put that gate up. It's yeah. kind of a bummer for you guys, isn't it? No, I don't think I'll be hanging there anymore. But okay. probably a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> um, but um, I'd say between the time period, because I never wear a watch. Okay. But closed at ten. We drove around for a while, smoked some blood. I'd probably put it maybe eleven thirty, twelve. Okay. And it was and it was Ben's idea to go there. Yeah. So who was driving the car? Yeah. Was it, which car was it? Right. His old piece of shit, Ford Escort. Ford Escort. Pinto, or the heck it is. Yeah, Escort. He said it is a piece of shit, by the way. <laughs> Where are you sat? In the back seat. Who sat in the front seat? Ben and Mike. Okay. How old was Mike, I guess? I'd have any idea. 1920. I mean, he wasn't that old. Okay. You guys have any small talk while you're driving around smoking bowl? You know, like. Who's fucking who? Yeah, that type of stuff. Not really. I mean, we're just basically driving around just getting high. Mike didn't didn't say anything about himself to you during that time. Like nothing that you know, I mean, like this is who I work with, this is who I date, this is who I am No, date. I mean nothing. I to me, I guess nothing that ever stuck out in my mind. Nothing that I, I'm high. I really didn't care. Just on marijuana. Yeah, right? that's what Ben said. You were mostly into. Is it usually you had a bowl or a bag with you or something? Oh, always. We didn't go anywhere yeah. without one. Okay, so you get to Angie's house. How many times have you been there prior to that? That's your first time there. Unfortunately. Okay. <laughs> uh, who gets out of the car? All three of us. Okay. Who knocks on the door? Ben. Where are you and Mike at? Behind Ben. Okay. Because when we was over at the house, what was it, Monday? Tuesday? When was it? The other day. Yesterday, whatever that was. Yeah. <laughs> I, would, I remember me falling off the porch. Because you've been smoking. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, who knocked on the door? Ben. Hard. It was a hard. De- decent knock. You'd, you'd have to hear it. Okay. Who, uh, who answered the door? Angie. What's Angie wearing when she answers the door? Sweats and a shirt. What, what color is sweats? Like dark blue, black kind of. Okay. What color is shirt? Blue. Okay. I guess she have shoes on, socks on. Can you remember? I didn't notice, no. What did she say to Ben when she closed the door? Ask what the heck we're doing there. Okay, what's Ben uses it? Or who talks to her? Ben does. What's Ben say to her? He, he, you know, he said he wanted to come out and talk to her out. Okay. She uh, agreed to that or not agree or what? It was iffy. I mean, she was getting tired. I guess she had to go to work or something. Okay, well, well when I say agree or disagree, did you guys force your way in or did she open the door and say, come up? Which is it? And it doesn't really matter. Right? It's just kind of get everything in a clear, clear timeline right. here. She let us come in. Okay. I, I I think she knew that Ben was pretty persistent. Okay. Who who goes in the apartment? All three of us. Okay. Well, I guess there's four of us now. Okay. If I remember right, I was there the first night or the day that they found Andrew. There's a staircase that leads up, right? Mm-hmm. Go out the staircase, there's a bathroom and then there's a kitchen mm-hmm. and on the other side there's a living room and a bedroom. Is that right? Mm-hmm. What room do you guys go to? What room does Chris go to? <laughs> I follow the group. Okay, uh, where did the group go? Down. Where did the group go? Bedroom? Yeah. Okay. So you're in the bedroom, and I know this is really hard for you, but I, I got to tell you guys, you're, you're being the stand-up guy for this, and if this ever goes and you have to talk to a jury, this is what's going to help you. Because they're going to see the remorse, and they're going to feel, and they're going to, you know. So this is hard for you, and I know it is. I've been through murder cases before. It's the hardest thing you're ever going to do in your life. So you're in the bedroom. All four of you? Mm-hmm. Okay. Who's, who, start, who talks to Angie first? Ben. What's Ben say? To the nearest that you can remember. You know, hi, how you doing? You know, what the fuck is going on? Because he wanted to get back with Deanna. He had, he loved her. Okay. So you want to know what the fuck Angie's been saying to Deanna? What the fuck? Why Deanna's pissed at him? Why Deanna went out and slept with this other dude and felt like, you know. Okay. What's Angie say to that? 
and I and I'm just guessing here. I never talked to her, but talking to Ben and different people, she's got kind of an attitude, right? Right. Okay. So what does Angie say? In the con in the context of it all, it's just well, I heard this, this, that. I mean, just case. starting with the attitude. So what's Chris do? Where's Chris at? <laughs> Chris <is> being high. <laughs> and Chris enjoying is, life, being high. Basically, trying to trying to tell him to relax. Everything's all right. I mean, okay. what's Mike do? Basically, just sticking with Ben. Okay. Is Mike your friend or Ben's friend? Ben's. This I was the first time I ever met the dude in my life. Did he ever mention his new Andrew? Mm-hmm. I mean, it was nothing that even the car with the small. Like, the small talk, I guess you'd call it. Nothing really came up. It was just the idea. Okay. Uh, evidently, we have it goes from talking to some kind of a verbal argument. Yeah. Okay. When that happens, who throws the first punch? Okay. Who throws the first punch? Ben Dave. Where do you get it? In the face. Slapper. Yes, sir. It, it was a cold cock. <laughs> What does Angie do? <laughs> Stumbles back. She hit her head or anything, or did she come back after him? She come back after him. She hit him. No, I wouldn't say it was a hit. It was more like a shove, trying to get us out of the place, trying to get Ben off of her. Okay, on your face. Can you kind of show me where you think Ben? Oh, uh, right around here. Okay. Mm-hmm. So what's Chris doing when Ben? <laughs> starting to already trip. I mean, trying to grab Ben, trying to, you know, grab everybody and just try to get the hell out of there. What's Mike doing? Pushing me off. Why? I when you say pushing you off, you mean keeping you from like, trying to break up the fight or what? A little bit of that. I mean, he, he was Ben's friend. I guess he was backing up Ben on what Ben's choice was or what he was doing. Okay. During the argument and the hit and the shove, when is the first time that Chris saw a knife? And he pulled it out of his pocket. Okay, describe that knife. Like a black sheath. Fold, a folding a fold knife or straight up, knife? Fold up knife. Um, do you remember when we brought in a knife and it had a thumb hole in it? Yeah, yeah that's the one I said it looks close to it. Something like that. And Which pocket did he pull that knife out of? I think it was right side. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm grab it, I'm grab it. What do you do with them? Hide it. What did he, what was the first thing he did with it? He hit it. I mean he put it back, <coughs> he put it back away. What do you say put it away? What do you mean? He didn't put it back in his pocket. No, he, what did he do? Put, like put it up his sweatshirt or his coat or Mike see the knife? He had I that much I don't know. Don't know. I mean, what's going through Chris's mind when he sees that knife? <laughs> I gotta get everyone out of here. Okay, so you're still trying to be the nice guy here. You're still trying to break things up. Try to, yeah. Okay. What's the very first thing Ben does with that knife, Dan? It's a cut. Might be long for breast. Reaches out with it, goes like this, or does he reach out and stab? It's basically like a reach out, kind of a little bit of both. Mm-hmm. Does it go all the way through her sweatshirt? What's Andy do after she's been cut across that? She's still trying to fight. Does she go down? Does she say anything? She, she, it was basically a kind of a go down thing. When you, go oh ahead, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, I mean, it was a kind of a go down, leaning against Ben, you know. What did you, you do when that happened? <laughs> I was freaking out. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to say anymore. What did Mike do? Not much of anything, to be honest. I mean, I wasn't really paying much attention to what he was doing. I was trying to pay attention to what was going on over here, trying to figure out what the hell to do. Okay, so after Ben cuts her across the breast, what is he, what's the next thing Ben does with the knife? You know, waving, like threatening her, waving, you know. Okay. I'm doing, you know, just, not, he didn't say anything like he's going to do it again. It was just the idea. She bleeding? A little. I mean... What did she say? 
Did she say anything? No. At what point did she get stabbed? What, what do you mean by that? Well, she baked hot, right? right? She's still standing there. They're going back and forth. She had some stab wounds on her. How did they get there? I guess, you know, after we got her, I don't know, I put myself in the idea of law, but... Well, because I can tell you why. I was there. No, because you're out smoking dope, you're with your friends, and you think your friends are going to protect you. Do you remember making a comment when you first came in here that in your heart you weren't there? Yeah. You know what I think, Chris? Yeah. I believe that. I believe that in your heart you weren't there. That in your heart you wanted to be somewhere else, too. But things happened, things went into motion, you couldn't stop them. Is that kind of how you feel? Yeah. Okay. How's Angie on the phone for her? Did I put you down there? How does he put her? When she's leaning against him, basically just a shove down. Okay. He gets on top of her. She's, uh... Chris, mm -hmm. this is hard. It's the hardest thing in your life. I'm not even there. Hard on me. But I believe you when Satan in your heart, you weren't there, okay? She's laying down the way we found her, and she was laying underneath the window next to the bed. Yeah. Did then put her there, or how did she do it? It was basically a push down, you know. Uh, she falls down? Yeah. What did Ben do then? He gets on top of her. On top of her, as in on top of her ankles, and on, waist. On top of like her waist. Okay. Where's Chris? <laughs> Being stupid, Ben asked for help. Okay, when Ben asked for help, what did Chris do? Chris didn't know what to do. Okay, so what did you do, though? I know you don't know what to do because in your heart, you're home. I know. But you're there with a friend. You're in, you're torn between two places. So what did you end up doing? I went over and helped Ben because you know it was basically I didn't know what to do. Other things, but I did for my own life. Okay, I can believe that. How did you help him? Did you hold her down? I what? held down her arms, like different part of her body. Okay, where were you standing? Over her. In front of Ben or or, or over top of her head? Over the top of her head. And you're holding her down? What are you holding on to? Her arms. Wrists, arms, forearms? What? Right in there. Right around there. I mean, what's Mike doing? He's going down with the feet area, making sure she can't kick, do nothing else. What did Ben say to her when he had her down like that? By now, he's probably really pissed. He was, I mean. What did he say to her? He goes, you can... I, I'm, I don't want to try to put okay. it. I mean, like you, something like you deserve this, or you're getting what's coming to you or something. Where's the knife then? In Ben. With Ben. Is he holding her? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Where's he? Is he threatening Angie with it? Has he got it to the side of it? He's still threatening her. How? Threatening her. How? Like a brown of the area. Is he holding it against it or pointing it against her? Pointing it against it. Did she say anything? No. <laughs> she was scared. Okay. Now we're going to go into something that I think is probably one of the hardest parts for you to talk about. And that's because the type of individual you are and the type of heart you have. And that's the sex part. Whose idea is it towards Angie? Who first says or talks about it? Honestly, I see it again. I mean, what I remember, it's been. I mean, okay. Like he's like she, like he's gonna fuck for just enjoyment for himself or just something to prove to somebody. I mean, something like that. Who pulled her sweatpants down? Like. And did he do that from the feet area, or did he go up to her waist? It was from the feet area, like jerking him down. Because why? Why did he do that? To help Ben. Because he heard Ben saying. Yeah, and I guess he wanted to do it. Okay. At this point, are you still where you told me you're at? You're still holding her down. Yeah. Are you trying to do anything? Talk I'm, to him, tell him not to hurt her. I'm trying. What are you, what I mean, are you doing. I'm trying everything. I mean, I'm trying to say a few words, but no one's paying attention. Are you acting? Yeah, I mean, Crazy. I don't believe in anything like that. <laughs> I know, well, and that's why, you know, and that's why I say that's the hardest part for you, I think. 
than it would be for me. So does does Ben ever? Yes. Would describe that to me, and I know it's hard. What does he do? Just I mean, because she she's having a period, right? Did you know that? Did you see that? I didn't pay attention. I'm, I was more worried about, I guess, trying to get my uh, friend out of there and trying to get my own ass out of there to save everybody. I just didn't care. Does he get off? Does he jack later? No. Or he I, I don't think he got off. I mean, I didn't ask him. Okay, I mean, that's fine. That's something I never cared about. That's fine. Um, so he he's doing that. And, uh, Chris is still up at the head holding the legs. And Mike is down holding the feet. Then they switched in the middle of it because Mike wanted to do something, I guess. Okay, so Ben goes where? Well, ben switches my feet. Yeah. And Mike goes to the waist. A little bit higher. And what is he doing? He wanted to get his dick stuck. Okay, are you, where are you at? <laughs> Still up at the top of the head? Yeah. What did, what's Mike say? Just basically, you're going to suck my dick. Is she fighting, or is she just trying to comply, hoping that that'll be the end of it? Do you know? The way it looked to me was just basically trying to comply. Okay. She, she didn't want to... <laughs> so what does mine do? Yeah. Does she do it? Yeah, I mean, it's... I wouldn't say it's real willingly. But it's like, there's no choice. Yeah. Where's the knife at right now? Who's holding the knife? Bends at the feet, you're at the head. Mike's, Mike's holding the knife just for over. the threatening of the idea of it all. So they, you sure about that? Yeah. Okay. So, so she starts to give him all sex, right? Yes. And I think in one of your earlier interviews, he thought he couldn't get off. Is that right? Okay. Then where does he go after she stops doing that or after he stops having her do Basically that? back to where the waist area is. And what does he do? He, he just gives him trying to get off himself. And he evidently does. Right? Mm-hmm. Did you see that? I mean, you're kind of looking down. Here. Yeah, it's like everything's going on. You're like, this has got to be the sickest thing in my life. I wish that was someplace else. Something like, you know, I'm, I probably did. Okay. I mean, where's the knife at right now? So you still got it? Does Ben have it? Does Chris have it? Mike still's got it. I mean, from that, I mean, I'm, I didn't want to hold the knife. I didn't want to touch the knife. Okay. I mean, I already knew, but I was already in enough. As it is, I mean, if my fingerprints were even on that knife, it'd be stupid, but to the point of being that my fingerprints are on it. Okay, we'll we'll get it. I'm I'm sorry. No, you're doing great. You, uh, you're a hell of a guy right now. You've gone through something, Chris, that most, you can't even dream about. So Mike has a knife, and he gets off on it by himself. Is that is that right? Yes, sir. Okay. What where does Ben go from there? Basically they switch spots again. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then he starts looking at me. Okay. You know what I'm thinking? Mm-hmm. First of all, let me tell you something, Chris. Nothing we talk about in here is gonna make me think any less of you. That Chris got involved in the sexual idea. No, oh. I'm just saying whatever. I don't want you to think about that. What I'm thinking is Ben's cut her. Ben's cut her. Mike's cut her. I'm thinking maybe do these guys threaten you to do something to her so that you're a full part of the crime? Yes, sir. And who does that threat? It's Ben. What does Ben say to Mike? To Chris? If he, if he says to cut her, do something to her. Because I guess they wanted me into it up to my eyeballs with them. Huh. I was already up to it anyway, but. Who has your knife? Ben does. What did you do with the knife? I held it. I, mean, I, I didn't know what to do with it. I didn't want to cut it. I don't think you did. I know you didn't. I know you did not want to. I know you didn't cut it. Does, make, does Ben mean cut it? Yeah, I mean, it was just. If I don't do it, he's going to kill me. And I knew he would. I mean, there was no thought, no doubt in my mind that if I didn't do something like this to make him happy. Where did you cut it? Up on the rest. Right blood. Breast and breast. Yeah. Up on top. And, and 
I did that. Friends, Dan's kind of prick, isn't he? Yeah, <laughs> I can't believe I still hung out with him after all this. What did Chris do with my back? I gave it back. To Dan. Where's my back? Still down. I'm out of the area. Okay. Because Angie still got some. She's still alive? Yeah, she's still got some kick in her. Does any other sexual assault take place on Angie after this point? Or has it all been done? And, and be, be real honest with you. With me, I don't know. Because well, I'm not saying I, with you. No. Does Ben I, or, I don't know, because I left. I mean, okay. I mean, I had enough. I I, I saw Ben starting to cut his throat, and I couldn't have one no more. Well, I don't blame you. I don't think I either. I mean, I left. Why, why did he cut her throat? I don't even know. I don't. Ben was just out of it. He had the knife. Yeah, I mean, puts it to her throat or what? Yeah. I mean, I guess he knew that. <laughs> I don't know if I should use a cliche from a movie or something, but we have no witnesses or whatsoever. How many times did he cut her throat? That you saw? You I just saw it. one. I mean, one or two. I mean, I couldn't handle it anymore. I was, I was, off of my own self. What What was Mike doing? Well. I'm just watching it. I mean, the only way I could explain it, I guess, is watching it. Where did you go while they were cutting? I went to the other room. Which which other room? Yeah, the living room. Okay. What'd you do in there? Kicking myself in the ass. Did you go back into the bedroom after you left? Me? Yeah. You're in the bedroom. You go in the living room because you don't want to see your dear throat cut. Did you go back into the bedroom? I went back, yeah. To see if she was alive or not. What were they doing? Getting, I guess, cleaned up. Okay. To the best. They're not, they're not cut there anymore? No. So where do you go? Let's go steal with you for just a minute. Where did I go? What did you do? Yeah. You said you wanted to see if she was alive. How did you determine that? How did uh, you tell? I went and looked over her body. I didn't even see any movement in her stomach, any, I guess, movement period in her face or anything. I never saw no movement or nothing. Did you do that because you cared for her and wanted to see if you could help her? Or? That's about it. I mean, anyone who really knows me, I'm not like that. Okay. Anyway. Where's the knife? Ben still has it. It's still open. Where's Ben? I guess you probably said the kitchen or the bathroom, trying to get you off of them. Uh, when you say shit, like blood. blood. Trying to get blood off of them. Where's my with Ben, because okay. he got blood on on himself too. Did you get blood on you? Nah, to my to me no, because I still have almost all my clothes. Okay. Um. Did well. Who went back over to Angie and cleaned up the blood and the, and the semen that was on her? Right there. What Mike use? The rag he used to clean himself up on. Did he bring that rag with him, or did he find it there? I think he found it there. Where did you see see him cleaning up? Which part of Angie? To me, it looked like was almost anywhere. Did he did he say anything while he was doing that? No, I mean nothing. I probably pay. I, I don't pay attention. I'm sorry. It's no, you're doing great. So you get so they clean up. Right? Do you guys stay in the apartment for some time after that? Or no. We, we left. All of you leave together? Yeah. And how did you leave? In Ben's car. Where did you guys go after you got in Ben's car? He took me home. And where's home for Chris? Over on the Avalon Apartments at that time. And who's there when you get home? Who's in the apartment? It had, it'd be my roommate Jeff. Okay. Mm -hmm. What did you do with your clothes that you had? I just kept, I took them off, put, mm -hmm. them, put them on the floor where I always put my shirt. Okay. What were you wearing? What kind of shirt? A regular t-shirt. And then what was on it? No, I mean, I have almost all my clothes still in my house, where I'm at my mom's, or if they're not there, I know where they're at. Okay. But I know my coat. I know I was wearing my coat. What, what kind of coat? A pullover windbreaker. Uh, does it have anything on it? A Columbia. It was just a Columbia right here. What color is it? Black. 
What kind of pants you got on? Blue jeans. Just Levi type. Yeah. Right? Shoes. I was probably wearing probably some pair of my Adidas. Okay. Let's concentrate on you for a minute, okay? I'm thinking by now, you're probably stressed to the max where you are just, you don't know what in the hell you do. Go home and work hard. Is that what you did? Yeah. Go home and get high. Try to forget about everything. Try to not worry about nothing. Just keep getting high. What did Jeff think of that when he told you? Never told him. Never? Mm -hmm. I mean, he asked me what I did when we saw each other that morning because he had to get to work early. And I always woke up with him. Mm -hmm. Kind of slept with the studio apartment, two of us, but he asked what I did. I thought I just went out and hung out. I went out to high. I went out for it. And what did Jeremy think when you guys told him? Crazy. <laughs> what did Jeremy say? You remember? Stupid. What How, the, what the fuck are you thinking? How long after Angie was killed did you guys talk to Jeremy? A few days. I mean, I, we didn't start talking to Jer, or I'd say Ben started talking to Jer. About how long after? Until the cops, cops until the cops started asking, came down, you know, we wanted to talk to people down at the That's river. Yeah, they were talking to everybody down there. Yeah, because I try to, I always try to keep myself away from it. Okay. Because I wouldn't want to talk to him. So Jer's like, you dumb shit, what have you done type deal? Yeah. Who, who comes up with the idea of saying that Angie came to the river and left with Chris the black guy. Who, who's who's that? Ben or Jared? I mean, honest truth. I because my the one excuse I got was I was never down at the river that evening. <laughs> okay. I was at home. Any any reason that you know of why they wanted to pick Chris the black guy to blame it on? We don't like Chris. Anyone down there didn't like Chris. Okay. Why didn't you like him? I I know why Ben didn't. He told me. He said he was always making advances towards Deanne. Honestly, I didn't mind Chris. Mm -hmm. I mean, he fought for somebody, you know, for some money mm -hmm. a little bit ago. I guess during that summer. Mm -hmm. Was it that summer or the summer before? Oh, yeah, I heard he fought over someone. Okay. And, you know, I had a little tendency with that because the guy, I I knew who the guy fucked over. He was really, he was a cool guy to me. We went out jet skiing and shit like that all the time when we could afford it. Why did Jerry, Jeremy, Jerry like you? Same reason. I mean, he was kind of a dick. You remember where you guys were at when he told Jerry that about the crime? Honestly, it either had to be in Jerry's car or he was over at the apartment on Maple. Yeah, I got to tell you something. That's at least four people that know about the crime. How'd you guys keep it a secret for eight months? Everyone did their own disappearing trick, I guess. Because I never saw Mike after that, after that night. What, when you guys talked to Jer, what made you think he wouldn't come right in and turn you in for the reward? I guess the same reason why I got picked to be, to go with Ben. Friendship, loyalty. When, while we're talking about Jer, why did you give him up and say he was the third person? Because that's who was running in my head at that time. Were you trying to get even with him? Or? No, I have no, I have no beef with Jared. Okay. I'm, I have no beef with no one really. I was always the guy okay. that no one really had a beef with. After, after Angie was killed. What did you go? Have you just stayed here in Idaho Falls, or have you left? I, I stayed here. I never left. I thought about it many times. But you did. No, I mean I had the option to go to Texas for a while to go live with a friend down there. You know, I, I got, then I was thinking about moving back to Wyoming for a while, but I just stayed here. I went and tried to, I went to treatment. I was trying to get my ass cleaned up, trying to get my life better. Is that why you went to treatment? Is it because you felt the killing? Part of it. I mean, my drugs put me, I know. In a place you shouldn't have been. Right. I mean, then from there, then I started to get back into crime full back on my own personal level. Do you think that? was a way for you to forget what had happened. That's why I always did drugs most of my life. It's been kind of eating hay for eight months. How, how do you feel about it? Let me ask you that. How do I feel about it? Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, 
uh, there's remorse there. Uh -huh. I never wanted to do anything. I know there's remorse there because you're here. But I mean, it was something I just never thought about. Something trying to block out. Put in the back of my head. I've all of my life I've always done that. Been able to push it in the back of my head. Just never worry about it. Just try to keep on going with life. Did you and Jer and Mike? How many times did you talk about? the crime after it happened. I only did it once. I mean, with the, with Ben and Jer, when we was all trying to get the alibis and excuses. And Jer, was he there when you guys were putting the alibis together? He was helping. How was he helping? I mean, he's probably going to deny it and say I'm lying. But he's the one who told me that I was never, because I, because when they said the cops were talking to mm -hmm. everybody, and I was in Dallas River when that first started happening. I was over on April. Or Jer was like, oh, son of a Okay. So he helps with the alibi, is that what you're telling yeah, me? Yeah, he's the one who said he wasn't there, and I was like, okay, I wasn't. Sure. Did you ever talk to Ben or Mike about the crime after that? No, it was basically no no talk, no nothing. Just done. keep our mouths shut. And keep Close going our on. eyes, it'll go away. Okay. Keep going on with why. I mean, when they got Angie's boyfriend at that time, or whoever it was, Clint, or whoever. Yeah, they brought the boyfriend. Yeah. Where'd Ben go after? Well, we did a lot of hanging together I and mean, real tight. Did you guys meet the next day after you killed? Later on that evening, because we was mm -hmm. going to do something to go get high. Okay. It was just an everyday routine. You, and you just changed clothes and left your clothes at the apartment? Yeah. You can show us which clothes those are. Yeah, I mean, I know I got my coat over there. My mom's, my parents, I either got them over at my, my best friend might have them, or I still might have them, I think. What did Ben do with his shirt? We got rid of it. How? The only thing that comes in my head is like he burned, you know, like his clothes. He got rid of them, he burned them or something. Where'd he burn them? Maybe at the stockyards, I mean. Why would he, why would he choose that? that he was, was working there off and on. You remember what he was wearing that night? Pants. Like a sweatshirt. Sweatshirt, same thing. Nothing that comes to your mind. All right. He was wearing a pair of like his airwalks, his tennis shoes. What was Mike wearing? Like blue jeans, a shirt. pair of tennis shoes and like a light coat like one you just button up or zip up on the front why'd uh why'd Ben go down to Mason did he tell you no after did you I talked to him while he was down there after August of last year I we all did separations from each other Ben was the first one to leave that's from my group that I knew Ben was the first one to leave. He went to Jackson. I meant West. Yeah. And then all I heard was he went to West. And then it was a week after he left, I left. Okay. I went. I started living. Well, I was kind of living on the West side. Mm -hmm. Some chick. Then I was living with my dad. And then I got offered to go to treatment again. So, so he went there. I went over to the ARA house in August. Where did Mike go? I don't know. I never saw the dude again. He from Idle Falls, living in Idle Falls, Canada, Mexico. Where is he from? He said he lived here. I mean, in the small. He said he lived here, but I never seen a dude. He was never one that ran my circle. Okay. When's the last time you talked to Ben? I guess when he went to West. Did you talked to him when he got back from Mesa. No. I didn't even know he was. Honest truth, I didn't know he even went to Phoenix until one of the officers told me. When's the last time you talked to Mike? That evening. I, what did you guys talk about? They threatened me. Tell me about that. They so you're, you're already upset. They made they threatened you. They made you do stuff you didn't want to do. What else did they threaten you with that night? If I said anything. What? I'd be in the same boat as Angie was. I'd be put there. Did you believe them? Yeah. Honestly, I believed them. I mean, I was afraid because I was a total wreck. Okay. 
I keep coming back to two things that you've told me. Right. You realize how sick it was. And in your heart, you wanted to be someplace else. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. I'm stuck there. Okay. I want you to just kind of go with me for a minute, okay? You know what cooperation is? Do you know what that means? Keeping, making sure that someone can cooperate my story for what exactly. I'm saying. I, I understand out there. So that's my problem right now. Okay. Do you realize how important that is, though? No. Oh, if that's the most important thing to me right now. Okay. I mean, I got right now. Let me ask you straight up. Okay. Let me ask you some questions here straight up. That's why I'm answering. Okay. What you have to picture is that these same questions may or may not ever be asked in a court of law. Okay. A jury's going to be made up of men and women that may or may not have daughters. So you got to be real straight and real honest here. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. This is the third person that was there. Is his name really Mike? Yes. What's his last name? To what comes in my head, it's McElveen. You know, that's what comes in my head. I could be wrong, but I know his first name was Mike. I know that. And how old is he? I'd probably say rough about my age. Describe him. Medium brownish hair, short. I'd say like five ten, six foot. And he weighed probably about the one seventy, one seventy eighty pound range. He missed the girlfriend or place of employment. No. Now we're still we're still in this court. We still have a jury. I know. And the main thing we have to prove to this jury is, is that I is what Mike is what Chris told us is what what really happened. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna tell you something, Chris. What? You give me any kind of a lead whatsoever on anything that we talk about, and I'm gonna go to the ends of the earth to follow it up. That's what I'm trying you to do. You tell me where that knife is right now, and I'll. I'm, I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna do whatever I can. Honest where, truth. Where, where's the last? What's the last time or last place you saw that? With Ben. And when was that? Back when I'm April. You threatened me with that? No. It, I mean, after that, after the whole entire ordeal, after my threatening that evening, it was just basically he always kept in contact with me. I always kept in contact with him. We were never really that far apart from each other. We always, always knew what was going on. So if I was going to go out and get in my car, where would I go to find that knife? Somewhere where Ben's been. I mean, might still be with Ben, wherever his is. In Ely? Maybe. Las Vegas. Because yeah. he had friends in Vegas. I know that for a fact. Yeah, but any idea, any way that I can find Mike? Honest truth? No, I mean... Mm -hmm. I know Ben ain't gonna say nothing. I said go talk to Ben. But if I if I ever saw the dude, you know You know why I wanna to talk to him? To corroborate my story. Right, because I I know of this. I mean trust me, I'm talking Because what what you're telling me is that Ben is the main principal in this case, correct? Correct. So if that's the case, then Mike may be in the same boat you are. And so we need to find Mike so that Mike can tell us his side of the story and, if possible, cooperate what Chris is telling us. So if there's any idea of where he's at, where he works, where he hangs, who he sees, anything, give it to me now. I'm trying. I mean, I'm, I haven't seen that dude. I mean, I after all this, I never saw that dude. I don't think I even saw him down at the river. What, uh, what's going to, uh, how are we going to make Jeremy tell us the truth? That much I can't tell you. You think he'd cooperate your story as far as your participant in, in the alibi farm? You think he'd tell us that if he thought it, it would help you? Honestly, I doubt it. <laughs> Why is that? Because look what I just did to him. I mean, yeah, but you're scared, right? Right? Right. But then, I mean, I hope he does. 
I really do. I mean, because I know I'm telling you guys the truth. I've been on that damn machine damn long. <laughs> <laughs> I already know I'm telling I've been on that machine a couple times myself. I you're too fun, no, is it? I, I mean, when I go talk to Ben, can, can I go with? I don't think I want to leave you two in the same room, do I? Oh, come on, please, just for a little bit. When I go talk to Ben, what what can you tell me that I can tell to Ben so that Ben knows I know the truth? Did you guys ever make a, you know, say anything else or? No, we just kept everything quiet. Okay. Are you being straight up with me I'm about how the crime happened? I'm being straight up. I mean, honest truth. I mean, I'm. If I go to Ben and tell him what you tell me, he's gonna look and say that's bullshit. You know, it was Chris that started it. Honestly, to save his own ass, I know he will. I know Ben. <laughs> I know he will. Okay. But you, how many times did you cut, cut her? Just once. Okay. And that was out of fear for your life. Yes, I didn't want to die. I mean, I don't. I don't know now. That option sounds kind of good. <laughs> I mean, I'm looking at prison, but. That's so be it. I mean, but... Anything else that you can remember that would have happened up in that apartment that we haven't talked about? Let me ask you this. Okay. When you guys are up there and you're threatening, did they threaten did they try to force you to do anything sexual to her, or what did they say? They just basically wanted me to do something. Crazy. Like what? What kind of scene? Like what? what? The cutting? Just anything to put myself that's as to make you be one of the three musketeers. Basically, one goes, we all go. That's about it. Ben, I mean, Chris never did anything sexual to him. No, just the cut. Yeah, because I'm not. I mean, I'm, you're not that kind of guy. I'm not. I, I couldn't handle it. I wanted to be like that. I'm not ben, good. Ben's pissed, Ben. Uh, am I getting that part right? Yeah, he's upset because of the DM thing. That was a whole entire ordeal. Prior to you guys arriving at Angie's house, did Ben at any time before that ever she, talk about Angie? Yeah. And what did he say? He didn't like her. He, she was a bit. We'd like to see her dead. How did he, what, did he, what did he say when he said that? I mean, he just kind of said, I'd like to see her dead, or did he say, I'd like to kill her, I'd like to have somebody else kill her. And I have one of my boys from Las Vegas. Just basically, say, somebody kill her. I mean, that's what it was, with somebody should kill her. I, do you have any idea when you guys went there that night that she was going to die? Did you have any idea? If I would have had any idea whatsoever, I would have never gone. What prompted Ben? He just raped Angie. He's stabbed Angie. He's cut her throat. Why in the hell does he go over and sit on a grave and smoke a bowl of marijuana? You know what, what's the deal with that? I was there too. <laughs> what? Why? What? 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 What was that for? What? I guess for me it was paying last respects. I know he did probably the right way to pay last respects. But that was the only way you could think of doing it. Yeah, I mean, and Jared was there. Yeah. He, he drove us there. Did you guys talk about the murder? No. We, me and Jared went off on our own little separate way. So how long after you killing did Jared find out about I'd probably say a few days. I mean, when, when the cops start coming around. He didn't know about it that day. No, I'd say when the cops start coming around. He's kind of been the spokesman down there, at least when I went down there. He's always, he's always been the outspoken guy out of all of us. When you cut her. <laughs> <laughs> the voice from nowhere. <laughs> when you when you cut her across the breast, was her shirt up or down? Do you remember? I think it was up. Was she laying down at the time? Yes, sir. She was laying down. And when when Ben stabbed her, was she laying down all the time, or did he ever stab her standing up? The first one was standing up. Then after that, it was on the ground. How many times did he stab her on the ground? A few. I. I wasn't counting, sorry. Okay. What what was your position when you cut Angie? How were you standing? I guess you'd say over 
from the head. Yeah, head looking down. Looking from down. The waist looking up. I'd say from the head looking down. Where would Ben when you cut? Same over, over on the waist. And where's mine? Down up by the feet area. Was she fighting quite a bit? At the beginning? At the beginning? She fought, yeah, but... Did Ben have the knife out then when she was fighting? When after Ben stuck her the first yeah. Yeah. With Ben had the knife out, yes. I mean, to throw as a threat or whatever. Did, did you see her get any cuts on her hands or anything? Anything else like that? Is that why Ben called for help? Because she was flailing or what? Trying to get Ben off of her. And uh, did he call for help? He asked for help. And who went up when that happened? Mike went first. To where? Where did he? What part of the body? He went down to the feet area. And that ain't where Ben wanted that help, I guess. Are we sure Mike is the first name? Yeah, I'm positive on the first name of Mike. And we said the last name is what? Mike McElveen or? McElveen? Yeah. And now you you said that you thought he was from here. Do you know where he what part of town he lived in? No. Had you ever seen him before? First time I saw him was down at the river with Ben that, that night. That night. Mm -hmm. They come in the same car, they in different cars. Same car. Same car. Oh, same I was day. already there before them. I always got a ride down there. Where'd they park when they when they got there? Do you remember? You get a parking lot, and then you get the bathrooms, and you get yeah. a parking lot. A parking we were farther down, like past the cold dock area. Cold sack area. Yeah, we was around, not right by there, you know, that little parking spot they give you. Yeah. And then where they always put the two docks were right there. We was always around that area. It's almost by the circle. Yeah, we was close there because we was always in that straightaway line. Everyone would park their cars right there. Um, did you see Mike after this? No. That's the only time you saw him? Then. I still haven't seen him to this day. Do you know if he lives in town? I don't know. Him, him, and, him, him and Ben were friends before. So him and Ben come together. How long was Mike and Ben at the river? That night. God. Hour, two hours. God, what time did everyone, what time did I get there? They were there longer than just to come and grab you and go. Yeah, they stayed. I, we, we stayed. It was basically a kind of a kick. Okay. And you, you guys kind of had your own little group, didn't you? Yeah, we always had our little... Um, Who's in that group? The Potheads. <laughs> okay, but who would have been there that night that we can go talk to that would have seen, seen Ben and Mike arrive together and tell us who Mike is? Who else is in that group? Oh, my God. Can you remember? That, that's real important. I know. Real that's important. That's to help me. Yep, that's... And that's, that is, like, real important. And my thing is, Jesus, everybody. Everybody was there. Give me somebody spe some specific name. Oh, I, Jer, for sure. I mean, does Jer know who Mike is? He might. I don't know. Okay, who else is there? Um, April showed up later. Did she talk to Mike? No. It was, when April showed up, it was basically her and Jer went up and okay. did the lovey-dovey thing. Who showed up that, were, that talked with you and Ben and Mike? We talked to everybody. I talked to everybody. I was always a social person. You know, you can pick out anybody specifically that Ben and Mike talk to themselves. Russ was there. No, he wasn't. He's in jail. He's in jail. Sorry. Does Russ know who Mike is? No. Ben told told the Ken and I that that the most people that he hung with was the low riders because low rider trucks. I guess is that is that right? He, I mean, is that kind of the first group that he goes to? Yeah, basically he hung around with just the drug crowd was, you know, one of the biggest crowds down there. Because, you Give know, me some names that I can go talk to to find out who Mike is. I tried Jerry. Oh, God. I know I ain't being a joke. No, you are. You are, Chris. As long as what you're telling me about Mike is the truth. truth. Man, man, I'll go put on that damn that thing again. The last thing you want to do is ever have to show up in a court of law and, do and, this. and go go to this, you know, yeah. if I had to speculate or if yeah. I feel like, you know, I mean, that bullshit out the window. Yeah. The last thing you want to do is that in court. Where you, I mean, you want to go to court, you want to go with a clean conscience here. That's what I'm trying to do. You know, so you give Ken and I. 
any, anything we can work with, ask him. We've already gone thousands of miles. We'll go more. Right on. Can I go lift this time? <laughs> I already told you I'm not going to put you in the same room with Ben. Nah, don't even. Just drop me off somewhere. <laughs> Between here and, and Vegas, I'll find my way there. When was the last time we talked to Ben? Probably before he went to West. You haven't talked to him since then? No. Have you ever called him Ben? Jeremy has, though. I didn't. Oh. Only thing I knew was he moved to Phoenix, and I was like, okay. I couldn't figure out why and how he moved to Phoenix, so I thought he was still from West Yellowstone. How receptive do you think he would be to you if you called him? We'd probably talk. I mean, try to figure out what the f I want to. Would you be willing to call him? I'll call him. Would you be willing to talk to him about the crime? I'd be willing to do anything right now at this point, period of time, juncture in my life. I mean, just, I you just... Don't, you don't have any idea where Mike went from? No, I mean... Okay. Um, as far as the, like I said, as far as the cut, when you cut her on the, on the breast, and I know this is a touchy subject for you, and it, it's, it's hard, but we've, we've really got to get that down. I know. Um, you said you were aware, were you above her, beside her, kneeling over? Above her, I mean, I know. So if I was, if, if this is her head, other people in the room. Oh. <laughs> if this was her head, like here, yeah. Were you standing? You know, if her head would be against a wall, like here. Were you standing over the top of her against the wall with your butt up with against, butt up against, against wall, the wall? Or? Yeah. Okay. And that's you're telling. I think you told me that's where you usually stay. Mm -hmm. That's where I stayed until I left. Okay. Now, before the interviews, we've talked about that there was also a penetration. Was there? Or was it there? Honestly, there might have been after I left. I don't know. During the time that you were no, there? When I was there, no. Okay. How long were you at her room? Oh, Jesus. Minutes or hours? Minutes. What room did you go in? I went to the other room. Okay. The, the cloth that Mike used to wipe and clean Angie, where's that at? You guys take that with you that night? Who took that out of your farm? Ben did. He put everything like in a sack. What kind of sack? I guess a plastic sack. From a Angie's house? Yeah. Garbage sack? Like a garbage sack, like an Albertsons. Where's that at? I know, I'm not being much help. No, he are. I mean, he just remembered that he put it in a sack, and he hadn't remembered that before. Um, he put it in the car with us. Back in seat. In the front seat, back seat. In the middle. Because okay. like he had buckets, then there's the stick shift. And then there's like, did, did he put the knife back in his pocket or what did he do with the knife? Was it also in with that stuff or was it there? He put it like back in his pocket. Did he, did he clean it? I take it he cleaned it off. Yeah, he cleaned it off. Which, it, which sink did they use in the house? Like the bathroom sink. Okay. I mean, are, are you real sure, real sure <laughs> that you went, that they took and dropped you off straight at home? Yeah. You sure you guys didn't get together and, and decide where to go? throw the stuff in the river or burn it or plant no. it or anything because no. there might be something there that we can use. I know that helped me. You, why Why does it come to your head that you think you burned it at the stockyard? Why? Because that's something that just clicks in my head. Something. Did he tell you that? Yeah, I mean, we conversations and everything else. And I'm trying to go back eight months and try to hit conversations. For that, yard. Yeah, I mean, I still don't remember the hell I did last month. I've been off drugs. If, uh, <laughs> let me ask you this. If Jeremy is, is talking to the band, what do you think they're talking about all this time? Oh, I mean, right now, like in the Phoenix people. area? No. Well, in, oh, Jeremy's here. He's in Nevada. He's in Nevada. I mean, they're having 30 or 40 minute conversations on the phone. I have we no break. idea. On the street, I have no idea. Um, like I said, the last time I tried to contact Jerry was in December. But you think he would be receptive to I probably wouldn't want to talk to me. Because he's probably thinking that I'm ratting him off. Do you think you could, if it was, if we could work this out with your attorney and everything else, do you think that's something you could try? I'll try it. Right now, I'll try anything. You ever have a? Let me go talk to your attorney about. You have a problem about testifying against Ben? ben? If it will help me out any which way. You have a problem testifying against Jeremy. Sarges? Yeah. Honest truth. If it'll help me out any way to keep my ass. Out of more, out of more time, because I'm probably looking at a good couple of years right now. 
far more. I don't know. I haven't talked to the prosecutor yesterday. So but it's know. just what I think See, in my head. The, the, I'll tell you what we got, Chris, is the last thing we want to do is, and I might even told you this when I talked to you about the burglary. <laughs> no, I, <laughs> the last thing we want to do is think we got everything out on the table. And yeah. and then a month down the road, or something, two months, comes, something up. comes up and it's like, well, what the hell? What, yeah, exactly. Right. My exact words. Did I tell you that when I talked to you about burglars? Was I right? Yeah, but I was in the exact same room, too. <laughs> was I right? Yeah. Okay. Anything else you need us to talk about? No, right now, I mean. Okay. Um, Let's do this. Let us go talk to your attorneys and well, to the prosecutor. To talk to you, so. um, do you want Coke, Pepsi? Smoke. <laughs> That's about um, all I ever asked for. The smoke. Okay. Let me have a seat and I'll grab somebody to go out there with okay. you, okay? I can't go out because Ken and I are allergic to it, so. Ah. Chris is brought in for another interrogation. Chris? Yes, sir. I was here, and Ken was here last night for hours on end. Yes, sir. Trying to corroborate anything that you told us, trying to find out any more information. Do you understand the seriousness of the crime? Do you understand what in the hell is going on here? Yes, sir, I okay. mean. I mean... And you... You have got to give us some stuff to work with, otherwise you're going to be the only one in there. And I thought I have been giving you guys shit. I mean, I know it's probably the group. I mean, I know it's taking no. time, and I know everything else. And that's else. not a problem. Oh, that's not that's a problem. That's not a problem. Is we need, you know, it's just yesterday when we were talking to you. Know, you and Ben and this, I hate to say mysterious third person, but the mysterious third person, right? Supposedly left the river together. But now if you talk. We can't. You haven't given us anybody to contact to to say who. Well, yesterday we said who, and you said, well, everybody down there, or they, or them. Right. I'm. You who want could, specific names? Yeah. Who can you give us that that we can contact? Because that's going to help you. That's going to because one of them who left, you know, saw you guys leave or saw you guys hanging together or whatever else is going to go. Oh, yeah, I know that. That guy is this guy. Right. And all that's going to do is help you. And you know, damn it. Unless we have something, we can't help you. I know what I'm saying. And you'll be in there by yourself so in jail gray. till you're old and gray, and these other two puke heads are going to be walking out on the street. And I don't think you want that. No. And we don't want that. That's fine. Okay. You know? I want the third name. Give me the third name. Let me go scooping. Let me talk to him and cooperate your story. There's no need to hold it back now. You know what in the hell is going on. You know what you're looking at. Do not protect anybody. Save yourself. Save yours. Think about, I've got to save Chris Tapp. Screw Ben Hong. Give me the third damn name, and I'll go bring him in, regardless of where he's at. I mean, Give we'll, me that we'll guy. We'll go to Mexico to pick him. We'll go, I mean, we'll go anywhere to pick this guy. Work with me. And Give I'm, me the name. And I told you what I, come, what I told you. What, Mike is his first name, okay? You said he lives here. That's where my, Ben told me he picked him up, but somewhere here in town. Ben was living out on Cloverdale. Okay. okay. That's with George. No, Cloverdale no, 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 was no. with, uh, what did say something? Yeah. Never held ever harder, Elderwood, or whatever. Yeah, the tip hat. Uh, that you. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, Ben was living out in Cloverdale. All right. He had to pick Mike up from either somewhere out in Cloverdale on his, I mean, Right now, I'm... Let me ask you a question. Am I protecting somebody? Let me ask you a question. Okay. Are you afraid if, if we pick up the third guy that he was going to tell us that you did something more than what you have told us? And my thing is, I'm not scared of that because I just proved it in there. Okay. That I didn't do more. I mean, that's straight out blank truth. Okay. I mean, if I would have failed in there, then yeah, I'd be scared shitless. Okay. But I know I didn't fail in that. No, you didn't. You didn't. So I ain't scared of what anyone's going to say about it. Okay. Have you had a chance to think any more about what might have happened to, to Ben's clothes and the rag and the knife? Well, 
Were you with him when they destroyed that? No, sir. I wasn't. I didn't even put me up on that. <laughs> you, did they tell you afterwards? That in itself, we find that, that in itself is going to corroborate a lot of your story. I know. All we need is, is one type of corroborating thing. On anything. We can, on, right. on anything with Ben or anything with this other one. One type of corroborating thing with Ben. I know. We'll be down there on a warrant with him and have that guy scooped. I know this. Trust you know? me, I know this. I mean, I've been, even when, since all this started, I've sat up many nights and, you know, thought about shit. Trust me, I have. Wait, were you at the boat docks before or after Ben got there? I was there before. And who did you talk to? Before they got there, who did you talk to? Let's see, who was all down there? If my memory serves, serves me correctly, okay, I'm going, I'm not going to go with this story, but this is what my, I went with Jerry down the river. He'd drive you down there? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because he got off work at 3.30. Okay. I hooked up with him probably about 4 or 4.30, give or take. Okay. You know, we which car did, what, which, what kind of car did Jared take you down here? He had the Z28. Okay. Because he just got rid of the bread. Well, the bread got stolen. Okay. Is there anybody else in the car with you or Jared? Just me and Jared. And where did Jared pick you up at? Over at the Avalon Apartments. Okay. Where I was living. And where did you go from the apartment? Well, we went around and got high real quick. Okay. And, you know, we drove around before we went down there to get okay. high because we didn't want to get high down there. Okay. And then we went down there. Okay. Who did, who did you... Who did you and now you? I think yesterday you said Jer went off with his girlfriend. So hey, who did you talk to? Okay, Jenna was always down there. She was one of them people that I talked she to. Always hung down yeah, there. Okay. Okay. she was one of us. Okay, I talked to Jenna. My cousin, <laughs> Jason. He was down there with, I think, Tyson. What's Tyson left? Tyson. 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 Jason. Jason will know it. Okay. Tyson was down there, I think. And okay. Try to think if Jason and Jeremy were down there. Was Chris Owen there? No. When was it, in June? June. Yeah. 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 Who were who some of the people who just were there? I mean, don't even think June. Who was the, who was the main crowd? Main crowd down there? Yeah. Hung down there. There was Jenna, me, Jared, Ben, Russ, um, Jason and Jeremy. Jason. Um, Jesus. April. Um, Kim. Jared's cousin. Oh, God. With Kim Buckley, you know, no. That's well, Jeremy Sargent's cousin. Yeah. God. I mean, just the normal people who was down there. Who are the Hoot Nano? The Hoot Nano. Who, who are you guys? The, the little group of us. Yeah. It was me, Ben, Jeremy. Anybody else in there? No, it was just us. Was George part of that at all? George was in and out because George had Audi. George had a job. I mean, and it wasn't his goal and objective in life to get high every day, <clears> seven days a week. There was only, I mean, us four were the group. That ben showed up. Did you see him drive up? Yes. With somebody with him when he drove up? Yes. Yeah, so he just didn't meet that guy there? No. Yeah. I mean, that I know. White guy, black guy, white guy. We didn't like, we didn't, <laughs> the only black guy that ever, ever was down there was Chris. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ben and guy drive up, do they get out of the car? Yeah, they drive up, they park, they get out of the car. Who do they go talk to? Me. Of course. And who else? Jerry was still there. Did they talk to Jerry? We all talked together, so yeah. I, we all just got into a little group. You've seen this guy before? No. You've never seen him before? No. What, weren't you curious on who he was? I asked his name, you know, and what I got was Mike. I mean, I didn't, I didn't care where he worked or nothing else. Right. To me, that don't matter. In the group, did Jer know him? I don't think so. Did it look like he knew him? I mean, did, did he walk up? Hey, how are you doing? Or, you know, whatever. Jer was always sociable. So probably with that scenario, yes. 
Was April with you at the time? No, April had to, she shows up later. Okay. Around the seven, eight o'clock mark. Yeah. She had to go to work and stuff like that. Get off work. Okay, who else was in that that group of people? Jenna was there. Her friend. She's blonde, kind of choky. <laughs> oh. She was annoying as hell. You know Sandy? Who? Sandy? You know Jessica? Yeah, I know Jessica. She's there? No. Okay. Um, what about Lindsay? She was probably down there. Christian? There's another name I can give you. Christian. What Christian? Or Christian Hope. Christian that ain't he the one that drives that Tamarai? Who moved down to Phoenix? Yeah. 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 He was down there at that time? Yeah. So I know he worked I, don't know, I mean he was working during the time, but he said he took lunch breaks every now and then down there. But we're what we're talking what, seven, eight, nine? What what time time we we talking when they arrived? Ben and yeah. Mike. I probably showed up there about four or four thirty five. It was after I got there, so I probably were around six, seven. Okay. Was Angie there when they showed up? Or did Angie show up later? Angie showed up later. Okay. Did she have anybody in her car? No, she was alone. What did she do? They basically hide. Not everyone's you know, ah. Uh -huh. How long did she stay? Not long. 10, 15 minutes. What was she wearing when she was down there? Did you see her? I probably did, but I didn't pay attention. I know. I'm screwing myself. Ah. Mm -hmm. The secret notice. Well, I, I know I'm screwing myself. No, I mean, actually, that right there corroborates what we have heard, that she showed up and left. That's why I asked you that question. I mean, yeah, I mean, I know I should be more particular on what people wear or whatever. But, so well, you guys leave, the three of you leave though together? Yeah, I leave, out when the boat docks ready to close. And I asked you yesterday, and I forgot. You sat in the front seat or back seat? Back seat. Did then two door, four door. What kind of the car? car? Yeah, I couldn't remember. I don't remember what it was. I think it was two. Did now you said you'd never seen this this bike before? No. Had Ben ever hung down at the river with him before? Did no. Like anybody else knew him down there? Or? To me, no. Okay. Um, but I'm half cocked anyway, so. Ben ever talk about his cousin in Las Vegas? With you? Mm -mm. Ben just told me about people, I guess, quote unquote, he used to run with in Vegas, like gang members he used to run with, the gang he used to run with, you know, what they did. Was this guy one of them? Or do you think he's from Idle Falls? Honest truth. And the only thing I can give right now, maybe he was from Vegas. I. You guys are in a car together for at least two hours. I, mean, I know. And you're smoking dope and you're talking. Think what? real hard here. Real, real hard, Chris. Anything that he might have said or, or let slip out. Because he didn't know. He didn't know anybody I knew. If, okay, go back in your mind. Sorry. You're in the Ford Escort. You're in the back That's seat. A, Ben's driving. He's in the front seat. Who, who brings up the... Who brings out the bulb? Who's got the dope? Who provided the dope in the car? That evening? When you drive, after you leave the park, that evening. you're driving around, who, who, who brought out the dope? Either me or Ben did. Okay. Did you stop at anybody else's house? To get high. Or go anyplace else? Or did you just drive straight for two hours smoking a bulb? Or did you go to another park? Did you go by somebody's house? Did Ben stop and page anybody or call anybody? Did you stop and call anybody? There's a two to three hour period in there. That, that, somewhere yeah, that, that I just can't see you driving around for three, three hours, hours driving driving down on a pipe. Yeah, I know that. I, I know that one. Okay, and I'm trying to during that three, two or three hour period. Did we stop anywhere? Did Chris Tap talk to anybody other than the two guys in the car? Maybe Jeff. Okay, man. Now, when you say maybe, um, did you go over to Jeff's house or not? 
میشنفن I ha- yeah, we'd have to stop by. Okay, why? Yeah, why? I have to call my girlfriend. <laughs> I mean, that's flat out to it. And who's that? That's Ashley. Ashley? Yeah. Now, I'm asking a yes or no question. That's fine. Right Did you stop and talk to Jeff? I'm like, and let me tell you this, Chris. You guys stopped and talked to him. I'm going to say yes. Well, this was the percent. If you stop and talk to him, he he's not in any trouble. Oh, I know. I mean, you understand that? Yeah, I mean, I'm not. He's so, but he may help me out. Where 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 would you have stopped at if you want to talk to him? At home. Which, would at would everybody have gone in the house? Would if you've just gone in? What would have? How how's the? I mean, how's what's the? Scene? Yeah, what's the scenario there? With that, it'd just be a quick for me. I just go in. Because we, if you have a lot of apartments, the old people in there. You gotta be somewhat quiet. Then make a phone call that night. He stopped at like a gas station. And what did you do at the gas station? I sat in the car. What did Ben do at the gas station? He wouldn't go use the phone. Which gas station? That text go over there by sneakers. Oh, the right stop. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay. Did you get out there? No. Did um, Mike get out there? No, we stayed in the car. None of us had money. Who'd been to the he was calling? I didn't ask. I mean... Did it look like he was talking to somebody? Did it look like he talked to somebody, hung up the phone, and somebody called him back, or what? Or do you know? Mm-hmm. Looks like he sat on the phone for a little bit, like talking to somebody. Okay. He does he get back in the car then? Yes. And from the Texaco station, where do you guys go? We drove around I guess the loop not in the loop. Like we're heading towards Freeman Park. Did you go into Freeman Park? We parked over there. Over by that the monument or memorial. No, no, not the monument. Down low where the I guess where they held the band recital. Okay. Big, the big building. Shelter. The big yeah. shelter. Because that's where some people hang, hung out. The river closed. Was there anybody there that no. night? No. Just you three? Just us three. Think real clear, real clear, because if there's somebody there, I'll go talk to them. Whose idea was it to go there? Mine. And for what reason? Be sociable. I'm high. <laughs> to be sociable with people. Is there somebody there you can be sociable with? Nope. I'd be sociable with you in the car. So how long did you stay there, do you think? Smoke another bowl? Or yeah, 10, 15, 20 minutes. Where'd you go from Freeman Park? Drove around the river. Okay. You guys talking about Angie? No. When's her name first come up? I guess right before I made the suggestion of going home. Is that okay before? During the time that you left Freeman Park and they ended up at Angie's house, did you stop anywhere else? Did you see anybody else that you knew? Did you talk to anybody else? In my mind, no. I mean, it was just smoking and ended up at Angie's house. Yeah. Do you know anybody that lives over on Vassar? Trailer, some trailer over on Vassar, you have earrings or wear earrings? Or next Vassar? <laughs> um, Behind the old Kmart. It's Ernest now. Yeah. Build Ernest for. I know a lot of people just lives in that general idea area. 
Whose idea was it to uh, use the Albertsons grocery sack at Angie's house? One of their ideas. What all did they put in that sack? The towel. What color is the towel? Like a, what comes to my head, like a pink color? Full, full bath towel or a hand towel? What kind of towel? Just a little small. They get, it, they get it out of the bathroom or was it in the kitchen or where was it at? What pops in my head is the kitchen. The towel or the yeah. sack. Now, when you were, you know, obviously, to, to bin stabs, they cut and you're holding her. You had to have some blood on your hands. Did you wash them off? No, sir. Did you wipe them off on the towel, too? No, sir. How'd you get the blood off your hands? Did you wipe them on something there to use that? Did you wipe them on your hands? I wiped them on something. Remember what that was? Remember what I told you yesterday, that you will be staying in this room. You're going to make me think any about something. Oh, I know. You're scared. You're going to have blood on your hands. You know, you got to get rid of it. How did you do that? I went back and wiped it on Angie. Where have you? Like on her shirt. But... Why'd you choose her shirt? It was already bloody as it was. So you thought, what do you think, that your blood won't show up with her blood? My DNA or whatever. Would well, mix with hers? Wouldn't show up. I mean, there was enough blood on there. Okay. I mean, it was just... Stupidity. I don't even know. Do you remember seeing a stuffed animal in there next to it? Like a bear or something? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like a bear or something? How'd that get all the blood on it? Maybe that's what I watched it on. At any time, did you or Mike or Ben use the bear to cover up her face or put over her mouth so she wouldn't scream or anything else like that? Me? Somebody did, didn't they? Then grab the bear. What did he do with it? Put it over her face to keep her mouth shut. Where were you? I was on the down, still. I what did I ask? I bought her like I explained yesterday. You said something yesterday. You said we put the wrap the towel with the rest of the stuff in the sack. What else went in the sack besides the towel? Okay, that's fine. Then somebody took something. From Angie's house. Remember what that was? No, I don't. But something. They took. Out of the bedroom, out of the kitchen, out of the bedroom. Jewelry, um, book, clothing. picture, clothing. What went in that with that? Like a picture. A what? It was Deanne and Angie together. Who's got that picture? Ben. If I had not give it to you. I don't know. I'm making fun of that No, you're not. You're going through one of the most difficult things in your entire life, Chris. Well, you know why we keep talking to you? To keep getting more things out. Yeah, and doing everything we can to help you. 
Ben still have that picture? I think so. Was it in the frame? What color was it? Oh, God. Oh, no, don't worry about it. What else want you to say? Where was the picture taken? You said it was of Andy and the Ann. Was it an outside picture? It was an outside picture. It was a professional a, picture. No, it was no, I don't, it didn't look special. <clears throat> It looked like a picture that was taken when Ben and Deanne lived over there on. Ada? Is there something in the background? Like the house. The house. They were inside the living room. Okay. And it's a Ben and Deanne. What else one next to Did either, did anybody in that room put any of the bloody clothing in the sack at that time? They took off the shirt. She had half another one underneath. Okay. They put a shirt in there. What else? Did you put anything in there? Of my own? Yeah. No, because... I never took my coat off. Did the other guy put anything in there? A shirt. So what's he wearing? What's he wearing after he takes his shirt off? Nothing. Just, yeah. The other guy take a memento or a, you know, a, Reminder, a trophy that he's been there and of what he's done. Oh, great. No, I had to find a way to hold something else. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, don't worry about that. Thanks. Did the other guy take anything? I don't, I don't know. Right now, I just don't know. Well, wow. okay. I mean, we can come back to that if you want. Um, um, see, one of the things you never thought of before was what you did with the blood on you. And you think you might have wiped that on her shirt? Wiped it on the shirt. You yeah, might even wiped it on the bed. Okay. That was probably a pretty difficult thing to do, wasn't it? You, you went in the living room when Ben did what? He was still going off on her. What do you mean by going off on her? With the knife and shit like that. Still trying to cut her or was cutting her. What would be cutting her? Oh, I mean, it didn't make a point to me. I mean, it was on the upper body. I'll give it that much. I mean, I couldn't bear to watch anymore. I couldn't do nothing. No one, no one was listening to me. You're, you're still trying to stop them, and they're still going. Yeah, I think I was trying to get everyone going. I was trying to get myself going. No one would listen to me. So let me, uh, I shouldn't do what was right, just took off what I did. Okay, um, <laughs> quick question, Nick. <laughs> yeah, your mind is still in the school passing <laughs> on. Um, you're standing above her like this, like her head's right here. Yeah. And you're holding her, am I right? And did Ben ask you to hand, hand him the knife, I mean, the, the bear? Or did he reach and grab it? He reached and grabbed it. Okay. I was pretty, he, I guess he knew it and I knew it. I was pretty much in terror and shock. Okay. You remember how the blood got on the wall by the window? I don't. I'm sorry. I don't. Did, did you, did, well, let me ask you, did you ever see the blood on the wall? Well, I mean, I, I know I blocked a lot of shit out of my head. Okay. What's happening and what was on. Okay. Um, um, so they have this stuff in the set. Ben took a picture. Did he tell you why he took the picture? No. Well, you had to, if you had to guess why he took I'm, a, I'm not a memento. I guess something that he wanted. 
Where did he put the knife? Did he put it back in his pocket? Put it back, back in his pocket? He didn't put it in his sack. No, he put it back in his pocket. Okay, Chris, you do good. You're giving me more and more to help you with. You, were you with them when they got rid of that stuff in the sack? If you were, tell me. Because if I can get any of that stuff back. I know it will help me out yeah. a lot. And my thing is, I don't, maybe I was, maybe I wasn't right now. In my head, I don't know what the heck I was doing. I really don't. I mean, okay, well, let's, let's, I, I mean, after my head just keeps shutting off and on. Right. Well, let's let's do it this way. Let's do it this way. Because this kind of is the best way for you. After everything said and done, you have a garbage sack, right, or a right. grocery sack. Every, the stuff you told me is in that sack, right? Yes, sir. Do all three of you leave at the same time? Go out of the house? Yeah. Yeah. Do all three of you get back in the same car? Did you? You seem kind of unsure about that. I know I am. On my head. It's just... Did you get back in the car then? Me? Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's not a yes or no question. I don't know. Did the third guy get in the car? Well, possibly my head is no. But I might be wrong. <laughs> where where did you go? Where did Chris go from? I went home to the Avalon apartment. Yes, sir. Did you stop anywhere? No, I went straight home. Where you been, though? Did he tell you the next day? No. So if this guy... He, he, he had to go somewhere. He had to have. So you can't remember if this guy's in the car with you or not? Well, come to my head is no. But like I said, I might be wrong. I might be right. Okay. You realize how important it is for me to find this third guy. I know how important it is. Cut him. I know how important you know, it is. Okay. How sure are you that he's first name is? I'm dead po set positive. I mean, that much I would go with. I mean, last name is what came in my head. I took. I know I passed polygraph on the on the mic part. I know I didn't pass it with the last name. Okay. But I know I passed it on the first name. Yesterday, you thought the last name was like McElveen. 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 Something like that. Yeah. Where did that name come from, or why did that pop in your head? That's an unusual name, that's why I'm asking. I don't even, honestly, that's the only name that popped in my head. What, when? When? Why did it pop there? What, what, when, uh, what did you Steve Finn? Thank you. Mr. Finn was, you know, and that was the name that popped in my head. I don't know why it popped in my head because I don't know anyone. You know, that was gonna ask yeah, you. Do I don't know, know anybody in the world named that. No, I don't. Well, see, this is what we did with your name. Because I told you I was gonna, I'll do yeah. anything I can to help you. Detective Grimes here ran that name as many different ways as we could spell it through our computer, and it didn't come up anywhere. It has shown him being arrested or a victim or a witness or anything in the city or the county. We ran the name through Boise, and we couldn't get anything to match at all in, through the state. So the problem is, we can't find anybody even near that last name. So if there's any way you can, you know, let's let's go back when you first meet at the river, okay? And I'm taking your word for it that that's the first time you've ever met him. Yeah. Okay. Did he get out of the car? Yeah, he got out with Ben. How tall is he? Taller than you? Shorter than you? Shorter than me. I, I about five ten, six foot. And what color is his hair? Medium brownish. Um, I can't. I know. Dark, lighter than your hair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. My hair's almost black. Okay. Long sideburns, no sideburns. No sideburns. Got any kind of a particular type of haircut? Slick back. Um, how, about how long? 
Oh, how about as long as mine is now? Okay, but not like swoop back in a ponytail. No, it, it looked like what he was wearing and everything else to me. He looked like you know a wannabe gangster or. Okay, why, why do you say that? What was he wearing? With the pants, the way they were baggy. I mean, with the hair slicked back, everything else. I mean, after all my travels in the world, and I mean, from California, Wyoming, Utah, Nevada, everywhere I've been. I mean, just seeing people like that. That's the only thing I ever put it was. Just Want to be gangster or uh, is one? You have a mustache? No, no he, mustache. No, clean shaven. He have any type of significant accent? You know, do you know what I mean by that? Yeah, like, I, I mean like east, south. You know, different country. No, no different country. I guess how you would put it would be like street talk, street. So he, so he did talk. He did talk. What did he say when he talked? My name's Mike. Mike what? Nicholson? He's meeting you for the first time. Yeah. And Ben's then... introducing you and the guy says, my name's Mike what? Something to that effect. I mean, Hi. my name is Mike, whatever. Yeah. And I, no, I'm from where? Oh my God. <laughs> He's in his town. He came to visit with Ben. Where from? Utah, Vegas. So he, so he told you he's from Utah, Vegas. Yeah, he told me that he wasn't from around here. Can I, let me ask you something real personal here. What? You have no doubt in your mind whatsoever that Ben would harm you if you did not participate, or is that true? Very true. I'm is the friend that is with him a bad enough guy that you're afraid that he would hurt you too if he's running with Ben? At that point period of time, sir, I was scared, period. It didn't matter who it was or what it was. I mean, I'm scared for myself. Okay, let me ask you this. Is it possible that it you don't want to give me that, that. Well, first let me tell you this, okay? We we thought all along, right? Where my chief has and some other people thought all along, that the reason you wouldn't give us the third name is because we'll go pick this guy up and he's going to come in and say, you know, that, that that's a bullshit story. Chris, Chris did all the cutting. And I think we know now that Chris didn't do all the cutting, right? I know this. So that motive is like out the window. And I'm not scared. I mean, are you are you scared enough or threatened enough from this guy that you would are afraid to give me his name? No, honest though. No. I mean, sorry. After what they just told me today was I'm getting charged with murder one. I have the option of either life imprisonment or death. <laughs> well, there's nothing more to be scared of. There really isn't. I mean, I either have the option to spend the rest of my time in jail or have the option of dying in jail. And to me, that's the most scariest thing of all. Okay. I have. So I mean, you, so you meet Mike. I meet Mike. Gets out of the car. I'm Mike. What gave you the impression that he was from Utah or Vegas? I guess the way he acted. I mean, people here, if they're them want to be gangsters, they act different. They're not. I guess would you put hardcore, right to the point of. Of anything. Did Ben did Ben introduce you to him or did he introduce himself to Ben him? introduced me to him. And so how did Ben do that? Did he say this is my this, this is my, my best home, friend? This is my homeboy. 
This is my homeboy Mike from This is my homeboy Mike from Vegas. Okay, it's my homeboy Mike last name from Vegas. This is my homeboy Mike Shithead from Vegas. Or is it I'm this is my homeboy Mike Mike. Mike the Mafia from Vegas? No, I'm like Winkleton, Lackleton. Okay. I mean, something I'm... And did he specifically tell you that this guy was from Las Vegas, or are you just saying that? That's what Ben explained to me, was he was from Vegas. And how did you apply that to me? Well, I mean, what, like, what gave you that thought? I guess the way them two talk together. Like what? Like they knew each other, like they've already ran together for a while. Yeah. Did Ben ever tell you about the time that he beat the shit out of some guy in Las Vegas with a baseball bat? Yeah. How long ago was that? When he beat him up? Do you have any idea? Oh my god. Is that been over a year ago? Two years? Three years? Oh shit. It's been, been a while, huh? That Ben in what, 94? Yeah. 95? Yeah. And he was coming, that's why he came to Idaho because he was having problems out of Vegas. Because part of that, because of some of the drugs and yeah, some of the real, shit, real drugs and some of the shit done down there. Um, did you at any time get the impression or the feeling that this guy might have been with him when he did that? Maybe. Did you ever meet any other Ben's friends that you didn't that you never met before? That were from out of town or yeah. from. No, I mean, I met a lot of people from Ben, that, but they were all here in town. People that you know here. People I didn't know, them, but I got to know them. Does that make sense? But, uh, yeah, but they're living here. Yeah, they're right living here. here. I mean, it was all drug related how I met a lot of these people. It was all because of drugs. So, Chris is at the river. He comes with Jeremy. Jeremy finds April or Amanda or I don't know, he, whichever he, one. Whichever one he's and with. He's doing his thing, and so you're, you're with, with everybody there at the river. Yeah. And you're saying these guys arrive together. And they get out of the car, and you go up and talk to them. And Ben says, "This is okay, Mike, or my homie, or what is Yeah, this is my homeboy. Homeboy Mike mm-hmm. Nicholson. Nicholson. Nick, some, some to that effect. I mean, and he's from Vegas. I mean, Utah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, how long do you think you've been up here with Ben? You know, that you heard? Probably for a few days. I, During that time... I didn't see Ben for a few days before that. If that was the question you were going to ask. Well, I was wondering if you knew where Ben was living during that time. Got to see her message again. You know where he was living during that time? He was living out in Cloverdale. Okay. Um, why does it? Why do you think in your head that, or you're not sure that whether or not Mike left with you guys? Just, I don't know. Some days I have doubts in what I, even what I'm saying to myself. I mean that's not because I'm trying to hide nothing or nothing. It's just I keep having doubts in my head about a lot of things. Mm-hmm. I, I keep trying to piece everything together in my own head. You said Ben threatened you. At the time of the killing, did Mike threaten you? At the time of the killing, what did Mike say? About the same thing Ben said. Which is what? If I didn't do something, that I was going to end up the same way. If I didn't get implemented, not implemented, but if I didn't involve myself to the extent where they were involved. Okay. You went back in after they had finished to check to see if Angie was alive. And that is when you wiped your blood on her shirt. Okay. And this is probably really, really hard for you. Did you notice the wounds on Angie at that time? Did you notice how, how bad the one side of her neck was cut? Do you know how that happened? Do you know how the cut on the other side of the neck happened? I don't. Okay. 
right here. She has a cut with like two or three inches right here. You know how that happens. Okay, so the cut you made was across the breast. Was your shirt up or down? Okay. Who did Ben or you or my say anything about how that you'd have to clean up the scene? No. Were they already doing that? They was already three steps ahead. I guess they knew what they were doing. So, who went back and cleaned up Angie? With the towel. Mike. Why do you think you needed to use clean towel to do the work? I have no idea. I really don't. Okay, so if I go, talk, go and... We finally find Mike. Well, no, I wasn't saying anything about Mike. If I go and I find Ben, you think Ben's going to have this, this picture still with him? Did you ever see that picture after the crime? No. I didn't see it. In, if, if, to the point where you're saying, I never saw it in this shit. Because I thought it was in this shit. Hey, did you ever see the knife after the crime? I saw the knife once. When was that? When was that? Before, it was it after Angie was dead? After. After you left the apartment? Yeah, way after. I mean, it was a couple weeks afterwards. You think that's something that he cared enough about he'd hang on to? Yeah. Why is that? Sentimental value or... I guess the idea of it all was that would be the only linking chain to him, I guess, to the crime. And if he had it... He ever, uh, in your presence, bring that knife out and, you know, like, get pissed at anybody else or just, you know, brag about, hey, you know, mess with me and my friend, you know, this knife's already cut somebody else. So no. On you. I mean, when we have problems or whatever, yeah, you know, in ourselves, when we have problems with outside the group, mm -hmm. we would take care of it our own way. I mean, either by threatening or just getting by in people's faces. Okay. I mean, but most of the threats and everything else that went on was inside our own little group. Who... When you left and went into the living room, was there anybody still at that time holding you there? Were they still holding that on Angie? No. When did they stop holding that on Angie? Right before I left. And who took it off? Of I did. You did? Yeah. And what did you do with it? I put it right next to him. What, uh, what, why did you take it? Compassion, I guess. When you took the bear off of Angie's face, was that before or after you cut across her breast? That was before. Okay, so you removed the bear, put it by her side, they threatened you and you did, you did the cut. I did what I, what, I guess what I needed to do or what I had to do was was there Andy doing any type of struggling, fighting, breathing at that point? Did you think at that point she was dead? I knew she was pretty bad on. I, I didn't know she was dead or not. Okay. That's why I left. I didn't want to be there when she died. Where was the, the picture was in the bedroom or the living room? Bedroom. Where at the bedroom? Like on her dresser. Were you there when you removed that? No. Or how do you know that you took this picture? It was something that you, I guess you could make out. Or, there was a picture in there, and I saw the picture when we first showed up. Okay, so when you first show up and go I in the bedroom. I saw the picture, yes. Okay. Can okay. yeah, we talk to Mike? Compared to a magazine, how big is the picture? Is it like a big 5 by 8 picture? No, it's it? just a little small one. Okay. So that's, that's on her bed stand? Yeah. Okay, and when you leave, it's not? It's not there anymore. Who carried the sack out to the car? Ben did. And you, you're, and because it's the plastic bag type sack, you could see through and see the picture. Is that what you? I saw the picture when we first got there. Right. And when I came back, the picture was gone. Right. And then, and okay. Go when ahead. you saw the plastic bag, you could see like the outline of the frame. Okay. So it's in a frame. Metal yeah. frame, or you don't know. Like a, if you don't know, like a plastic flame. Okay. Okay. Frame. Jeez. 
Um, were you present when he burned the sacrament poles? No. Any cow? No. I mean, if I was, I would say this is where it was. This is what happened. I mean, and so to the best of your knowledge, you feel that, that he still may have that picture. And he, to the best of my knowledge, sir, I still think he has the picture, and, and to me, I think he still has the knife. Okay. I mean, if he, he met Angie's boyfriend was one of those Christian Grebstead, is that right? They, or they, they were seeing each other, I think, or something close okay. to that effect. Were you aware that Ben went and stayed with him? No, I was supposed to go stay with Christian. Oh, why? Because I just was going to get out of town, to be honest. Was, was that before or after the time? Oh, after. Did you think you'd go, why did you, to get out of town to be safe? To get it out of your head or what? Just to get out of town, period. Every few months, I always move out of town. Okay. It's been painted for me since I was 15 years old. I live here for like five, six months, and I'm tired mm -hmm. of it now. Then I take off for a couple months to see what other parts of the country look like. Okay, so if you didn't go down, did you ever have any type of contact with Christian by phone or whatever? No. Do you know what his address is there, phone number? <laughs> no. I mean, I don't do that honestly, no. Okay, so... After but, after I did my separation from the group, mm -hmm. after I did my treatment, I didn't talk to no one anymore, I didn't associate with anyone anymore. The only one I ever associated with was my little friend Chris. You know, that was from the drug scene. He was the only one I'd ever associate with. Who... And who was... Who was all present when you guys told Jeremy Sargis about the crime? Who all was there? Just me and Ben. Was Mike there? No. Had he... Did Ben tell you why he wasn't there? No. I mean, it was nothing that I never cared to know. I just being scared or just being... The less I know, the better I like it. And do you remember where you're at when you told Jeremy? It was either on the house over on Maple or in Jerry's car. Okay. I mean, okay. I wish I could be more helpful. I have a couple questions, Chris. Sure. Um, uh, you mentioned that Orr's prison was well done established that Ben was out on uh, Overdale. Overdale at the time. Did you ever visit him out there? A few times. I went out there with Jerry when me and Jerry, when Jerry went to go pick him up. Okay. Do you, do you know who was living out there with him? I think that some dude. The okay. <laughs> only person I ever saw there that I guess I knew. I don't know if he was living there or not. It was this dude named Mike. We talked to the people. You say Ben was living there with a dude named Mike? Well, he was out there. Is this the same Mike that helped? No, it's a, it's a Mike I know from town. I used to go to junior high and high school with this school. What was his name? Mike. Um, and he lived out there with Ben? Yeah, or he was staying out there. I never really, I just saw him out there a few times. I had one time out there. And that's a different Mike then? Yeah. We talked to the people out there uh, that lived out there at the time, and they say no one ever came to visit them. Where would Mike stay when he, you know, coming up here from Vegas or Utah? Where would he stay at? I have no idea. I really don't. Who else would he know here in town? Out of the people I know, no one. I mean, that's the honest truth. Do you know Clinton still so Nelson at all? I know a guy named Clint Nelson. I don't know if it's the same Clint that you guys want me to... I know a guy named Clint Nelson. He's about 16, 17 years old. Blonde hair. Um, Looks like a punk. He said Ben talked to you about the baseball incident and the baseball bat incident. Yeah. Did he ever mention anything else that maybe uh, he's witnessed down there or in that area? Basically just gang-related stuff. What kind of stuff? I guess drive-bys. I mean... Drive by shooting. Did he ever talk to you about any incidents in Colorado? I didn't even know he lived in Colorado, to be honest. Uh, has he ever mentioned anything about uh, having to go to court to testify? The only thing I knew about his court things was about the checks, that check incident he had. Okay. Let me uh, let's go back up to the apartment just for a second. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you're there. You mentioned that you were holding her at one point. Uh, I think Detective Brown talked to you a little bit, and I know this is going to be hard. Okay. Uh, 
Happy Brown Puppy will be about a thousand deaths. People, animals, whatever. And then when they're dying or hurt, they make sounds. Do you recall any any sounds that you heard there from Andy? What kinds of sounds were, were she making? I'm going to think early, like an early sound, I guess. Okay. Like little winters in mine. Is that from her, her mouth, or where was that coming from? From her mouth. Okay. Did you still hear those when you went on the room? Did you hear Ben or Mike say anything when you were in the living room? I don't know if that's wrong. I kind of heard, to me, it sounded like it was laughing. Now let me ask you this. Uh, you were there, and I know you said there's blood everywhere, and there's more blood. What blood do you recall from on the wall? Of course, the only blood I ever really paid attention to, I guess, was on her. The stuff on the wall, I didn't even notice till. Brown showed me that picture. Where did you see blood coming from? From her body? Like her throat area. The cut that was that big deep one that was underneath her breast. Did you see any blood coming from the stab A little, I mean, like little bits, but nothing. Where, where did all the blood, or where did the blood come and on his head? The other hand here, from which one? Probably from his head. Yeah. Yeah. How, how did she get her? You said the blood coming from her hands. How, where did she have one of her hands, or what was, how, where was it, was that blood coming? Because that's why Ben asked me to help was like Andrew was trying to grab the knife or get rid of the knife or get Ben off of it. Okay. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you mentioned that I wanted to go through the sex part for just a second. I will give that one. Did you do anything crucial to it? Yeah. No. It's hard. No. You do. Thank you, Ben. And can you tell me one more time what they did? Bed slumber. Where? In, 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 the, in the vaginal area. Okay. To what I saw. My feet made her suck his dick. Okay. Mike was trying to get off on his own, I guess, or by giving himself a hand job. Was Angie on her back? The entire time. To where I was at, yes. I. She might have got turned or something when I left. But with the whole entire time I was there, the only thing I ever saw was her back. When, uh, when they were forcing her to give the uh, Michael sex, was she holding on to anything? Do you have any idea why she would end up with? Um, she was carrying his hand. I don't. Or, so you still, what you're saying, you still pinned her down while Mike was in there? Yeah. I mean, I, if that's the case, I mean, if anything sexual, I'll take the lighter test, I'll do any more tests. Well, we were just trying to find out where some of the hair that we recovered came from. Honestly, I don't know. When, uh, <coughs> you know, our throat was cut, and we were talking about that. Sorry. What, in your mind, happens when someone throws a cut? To me, what happens in my mind? Death. Why? Well, as far as blood, what do you think? What do you mean by blood? I'm what would happen? What would the blood do if someone throws a cut? Well, what I've learned, mm -hmm. I'm probably watching TV. I know I shouldn't watch so much TV. The blood gets inside the thing. Like in the throat, 
area. And that's when it comes up either coughing, spitting up blood, or the blood is just starting to drown the person. And my, my close to what I'm thinking of what I saw on TV. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the special practice. Dan's on top of her. Why don't we just start from the beginning of, of the, the attack and, and just run me through that real quick. So where you were and where Ben was. Ben was on her waist. Okay. She hasn't, has she already been stabbed or hasn't? Yes. Yeah. How many times? Just once. Okay. Ben got on her way. She was trying to struggle and trying to fight. She face up or face down? Face up. So I guess Ben wanted her to watch what was coming or whatever. She, is her head in the middle of the room or toward the wall or on the bed? Or where is her head at? Like towards the wall. Okay. He calls for help. He calls for help. Sorry. And what do you do? You know, he asked for some help. Okay. And I didn't know what to do, but he, I guess, I put myself up towards her head to hold her arm. Mine grabbed her feet. How old were you positioned? I was like over her. With your butt up against the wall. I said yesterday. So your crotch area is actually over her head? If you put it that, yeah. I mean, I know I'm probably not painting a pretty picture right now for myself, but it's good. Okay. I guess you'd call it that. Let me, uh, let me diagram this real quick. Just something real simple. This is, let's say this is the wall, and this is in. Are you here, or we're going to put the bed over here, or mattress, or whatever it is? Do you recall that? Yeah, I remember that. Show me where you're at. I'd be over in this area. Because the book for him, stuff like that. And I had to have enough reach to go over here to over here. Okay. So you're not actually sitting on top no, of her head. Not a chair yeah, over sitting, here. Sitting on top of her head. You don't have to Yeah. Stand here. Because that's your waist area. Right. And then Mike has her feet pinned down. Okay. Did you ever move from this position? Ever? The only time I stayed like this. And the only time I did move is when I left. So who got the bear again? You were there. Ben did. Where were where was where was the bear? Do you recall? It wasn't on her bed. It was like over here on the floor. Where where did you stand at that the picture comes from? Against the wall. I mean, so Ben has already stabbed her once. Yeah. And he's on top of her and you're holding her arm because he's asked for help. Yeah. What happens next? Mike grabs her sweat, pulls him down. Been fucked. And then did they switch positions? They switched positions. Mike threatened her with a knife. If he's gonna cut her throat or do something to her. He wanted to move us. Are you still up in the same place? Yes, sir. Holding her arm. Yes, sir. You're holding both arms at that point. Mm 
Are you holding both arms, or did she grab use one to grab a hold of him to help you? Or do you know? She got one arm free from me. Okay. Because I couldn't hold him. You don't remember which arm it was? No. I told you that free. No. I. Okay. When? Okay, you're you're trying to hold both arms. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. I'm trying to when hold. Was the bear put on her face? After that point, when Mike and Ben switched positions again, yeah. Okay. Ben grabbed the bear, put it on his face. So Ben grabbed the bear. Just to, for what reason? To shut it up, I guess. To make sure she doesn't say nothing. Was she making noise at that time? Kind of. I mean, it wasn't real extravagant. Okay. Like you hear from blocks around. Like screaming. When did you see Mike or Ben make any more stabs? I saw Ben I saw Ben cut her throat. I mean the first cut. And you're still right there in that same place. Yeah, I holding her arms. Was the bear where was the bear when Ben cut it through? It was still over her face. I mean, it wasn't over a complete face. Okay. Did Angie spit blood on you? No. Okay. Because if she did, I wouldn't know. I probably would have. I wouldn't say she have. I would have gone with Ben. To get rid of my clothes too, okay. but I still have all mine. Okay. So Ben, you watch Ben cut her throat. How many times did he do that? Just once, to what I saw. Okay. What happened then? That's when I got, <laughs> I guess, involved in it. We did get involved in it. That's when I got forced. I got told if I didn't do something. Okay, so what you're saying is, she cut her throat once, handed you the knife, you cut her on the breast. Who did you give the knife back to? I gave it back to Ben. And what did he do with it? He started to cut her more on the throat area, and I couldn't handle it no more. I mean, I I lost it myself. What was Ben saying when he did that? To me, or? Just to me. Like, did he say anything out loud? Like, you deserve this? Was he pissed? I mean, is he pissed? Yeah, I mean, he was upset. What was Mike doing? I guess going along with Ben. I guess backing up Ben, when what Ben was doing. When you say backing up, what what was he doing? Exactly. Like, do it here, do it there. I'm. Ben, Mike. Did you see that? No. <laughs> I, I'm even going to put me. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> what did they do with your shoes? Kept them. I mean, Ben still got his and I still got mine. What kind of shoes did Ben still get on? What were they? A pair of airwalks. Yeah, and then he also had a pair of, like, really shitty hiking boots or work boots when he was out in the stockyards. And what was he wearing that night? Like his airwalks? What color are they? No, I'm no. not a big tennis shoe guy here, so that's why I'm asking you. It's like two colors, like gray and like red or black. Or... Okay. Were the lights on in the apartment when you got there? When this was going on, were the lights on? Or were they still on in the left? Who turned them on? Excuse me? Ben. Did you say what? No. Okay. I can go with speculation on that, but what would you speculate? To make to think that she was asleep. That no one, you know, 
the bottom, right. knocking at the door. Back there, up there. When you guys got there originally, did you notice if the kitchen door, the back kitchen door, was it open or closed? I didn't. You don't know? No. Okay. Uh, going back down to the river for a second. That particular night, we talked to a lot of people. And I was there. Uh, you know Jamie? I know Jamie Brown. Brown. There you go. I know Jamie Brown. That night, she says that she was thrown in the river. Do you recall that? No. Just, you know, playing around down there. Well, we threw a lot of people in the river. And she mentioned that Ben gave her his sweatshirt, basically just a warm crap. Do you remember that? No. I... Okay. Um... Uh, Jeff... <laughs> Great. Uh, he... I talked to Jeff, and he basically just told me some of your acquaintances and things. That he knew Matt that showed up at the house. Okay. How many times has Ben come over? He's a Jeremy King over all the time. Yeah. Uh, Once or twice. I mean. And you get there when that happens? No. Why didn't you come over more often? I don't know, to be honest with you. Jared, or Jeff also told me about a. Uh, he said you partied all the time, but <laughs> I mean, you know. Yeah, you know, we, we all did. It, but he yeah. partied a lot. But he said there was one big party. He, he described it as a pretty big party. And he said. It was between the time that Angie was killed and the funeral. Kind of like that. Do you recall that? Jonathan, no. I think that was the main topic of the conversation, basically, with death and, you know, the funeral and that sort of thing. Honestly, no. I didn't go to the funeral. I didn't okay. do none of that. Ooh, <laughs> paperwork. Jesus Christ. I kind of feel like your school I mean, principal doesn't anyway, come in here Jeff, to catch Jeff it. Jeff mentioned some of your some of your places. One of them, he said, you used to go over all the functions to a person who lived down behind the old Kmart. The trailer's there. And he said, it's not over at the old Kmart. It's on the other side. Okay, who's that? His name is Jason. Okay. <laughs> I know that name for you, Jason. Probably where, where's that at? Over on Saturn, on the other side of the... Here's Flying J. Mm -hmm. Okay. You go down the street and it's like that trailer park in there. You guys know where it's at. They're, they're, they're okay. trying to something the price off the last year they know where it's at. Okay. Right. Let's see this. Do me a favor. We get you back there at the river. We're going to get out of here for a minute. Give you some time alone there. We can call for Pepsi if you want. I just go smoke. That's all okay. the time I really need. Well, in between doing that, do me a favor. Go back in your mind to the river when Ben introduced you to this guy. Concentrate on that and concentrate on that conversation and that introduction. And we'll get out of your face for a little bit, okay? okay. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank
You don't even give me enough time to try to stash smoke. What the hell? <laughs> I don't care if you stash smoke. Don't tell me that. But hey, don't watch. Okay, you're there and you said it was Tom Brown. So are you staying with that? Is it Tom Brown? Okay. Now remember, you did this once with us with Jeremy. I know. I know I did. I mean. Okay. So you got to understand, we're a little, uh. Leery on this. Yeah. I, it makes sense, but. I mean, I. I mean, it just drew right there on the light detector. Well. Here, I mean, the bottom line, no. We're not even going to take the lie detector in it. Nothing. Okay? The only thing, you were there, Chris. I know. You were there. So, either Tom was there with you, or, or he wasn't. wasn't. And then we're going to go back right to where we were before, back in that room. So, back to where I was trying, trying to have a battle in my head on what the hell am I doing? Where am I doing this? What am I doing wrong? Okay. Everything else. I don't want that battle anymore. Okay. I agree. So, either it's Tom or it's not. And if it's not, then I'm, then, then, then well, time's over and that's it. I, either it's Tommy or it's not Tommy. That's the bottom line, Chris. Either it's him or it's not. And now I'm right back to the point where it was. Yeah. I'm not giving, not trying to do anything else. I'm just trying to keep my mouth shut. Whether it's Tommy or it's not Tommy. If it's Tommy, great. We'll get down the information. We're going to bring him in. We'll talk to him. We'll see uh, if you and him can get together and uh, cooperate. What's up? If it's not Tommy, we're not going to bring him in. There's no sense sucking him in and bringing him in to get involved if he's not involved. That's not fair to him. It is not. I know that. Okay. But what we talked earlier about, what's on the line for you? It's life and president. Or just a few years, or many years, or right. I think they're here. But all I know, <laughs> no, this is it. The jig's up. I mean, we're done. So if it's Tommy, we're gonna rock and roll. If it's not Tommy, then you gotta come clean with the name. But and right now, I'm you're running out. You're running out of credibility. I know. I'm running out of everything. Yeah. So I'd say well, it's Tommy or it's not Tommy. But we're not playing the game anymore. Oh, no. Great. You should never stop that. I'm building, huh? Yeah. So what is it? I'm back to the point where I ain't saying nothing. I don't know. Well, is it Tommy or not? Get to that point. First of all, is it Tommy or not? That's what I see. No, I don't. No, hold on, hold on. Let, let me go on the right side. Okay. Right. That's what I see. That's how I feel. I mean, I can't lie. I because mean, I'm, 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 I'm trying to figure out how to read a polygraph. Thanks for doing it so much. Isn't that the first time anyone's asked me about his name? Anything else? And he was off the road school here. Yeah. It's only exception like there was no But line. there's no polygraph. I mean, the polygraph shouldn't even come into play here. I'm trying to do it the right way in my head, if that makes sense to you. What I'm, what I'm, what I'm doing. Does that make sense to you? Okay. I'm trying to justify everything I'm doing. That's a little thing. What I'm trying to do is justify. And I'll work, I'll, I'll work with you as long as you want on it, as long as you're not screwing the fee up on the name. I mean, if it's Tommy, I'll help you deal with it. And that's what I'm trying to do, do it on my own. I'm trying to get it all in my head. I'm trying to justify everything. I don't want to screw him. I don't want to screw you guys. I shouldn't have to want to screw myself. I've never done that long well enough, haven't I? I'm saying I'm done. I'm going to turn into a stupid Why? You 
sure what that is. Well, let's uh, start my time then. Is that what we're going to do? I'm back to that dilemma where it all began before. I know this don't help me now, does it? Mm -hmm. I'm back to the dilemma where I am before. Stop me down the river? Mm -hmm. Give us thing off. Mm -hmm. maybe, mm -hmm. maybe I'm even wrong, Jared. Maybe I'm even wrong. Right now, I have a lot of doubt in myself. Okay? There's a lot of doubt in myself right now. The bottom line is this, Chris. Is this just going to save me or sink me? You know who it is. You know who it is. So, either you, know, you tell us who it is or you don't tell us who it is. I mean, you're going to have to make that decision yourself. But uh, I think you can see writing on the wall. I do. I do. I see the writing on the wall, sure. I can. So either it's Tommy or it's not Tommy. Where's Tommy live? Over on Ridge. What's the address? I don't know. What's he driving? Was a brown Apollo? I mean, a, green, a fucking brown Apollo. Is it like a prime, primer gray or a gray Apollo? Is he still driving it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where's he work? Iverson. Which one? On Iverson. He works freight crew. Okay. Is he working now? No. What's, what's his days off? I don't know. I haven't talked to Tommy since the last time I was in here. Who's he living with? His old lady, his wife. So he's married? Yeah. What's her name? Darlene. Darlene? So why was he with you that night? That's right. So why is he with you? We hang out. I, I tried doing away from his wife. I don't like her that much. She don't like me that much. Me and her don't like each other. When they first got together, I was trying to get him to, you know, to break up. Then after they got married, I tried to get them divorced as much as I could when I could. Nothing ever worked. I didn't want to get something wrong. I got turned into a woman. Mm -hmm. So what did Tommy do to her? You stick her? Well, no, I didn't pay attention. I'm, I'm not trying to defend him. I'm not trying to do nothing no more, okay? I'm just having a battle that time in my head. Person, you talking to So, He's the one that uh, had a hold of her legs. He's the one that pulled down her pants. He's the one that uh, wanted head. He's the one that jerked off on her. And I'm assuming that he had to have stuck her. He had to do something to her. I mean, if, uh, if Ben made you stick her, But I wasn't there. I don't think you've got a good scenario of what I've given him and what I've said. Just substitute Tommy's name and place Mike. Is that right? Where'd you pick him up at? How'd you guys hook up that night? He came to me. So he drove down the river? 
manual. Down the river I'm sorry, Jared, I'm not being much up right now. I know I'm not. Well, go down the river and see what it is. Right? Is that what you said? Then what? For a while. Then what? Just one out. <laughs> Chris Tapp is charged with first degree murder, rape, and use of a deadly weapon in the commission of a felony. Chris Tapp was convicted of aiding and abetting Dodge's rape and murder. He was sentenced to a minimum of 30 years in prison. In 2001, Tapp recanted his confession. Years later, his case was taken on by the Innocence Project. In 2019, Chris Tapp was exonerated and declared an innocent man. The case will be continued in our next video.